welcome back to my channel. I post a new video every single day at 4 p.m. at Eastern Standard Time. Subscribe to my channel and click on the bell if you want to be notified as soon as I post a new video. So today's speaker card is going to be about what are you manifesting. So choose the pile you are most drawn to. You could be drawn to multiple piles. It does not matter. But yeah, I'm going to start with the first pile. Hi, pile number one. So let's see what are you manifesting. So we have Armadillo Spirit Set Healthy Boundaries number three. We have Electric Ill Spirit Bring Your Ideals Back to Life number 24 down to six. And we have Dramify Spirit Truth Transfers Illusion number 22 down to a four. So you could manifest a new healthy relationship, whether it's family, romantically, or a friendship. Um, yeah, I feel like whatever you think of manifesting, you're going to manifest. Um, and I feel like as well, you may uh, as well learn the truth about something. Uh, or you're going to see through somebody's bullshit as well. Let's see. We have the call. So somebody may call you if... Especially if you manifested that if you wanted somebody to call you, I feel like this person is going to call you or if it's for a job I feel like you're gonna receive a call or whatever the case may be. We have the nine of hair Yeah, you may be worried about this call or about receiving a call We have the six of hurt and the three of fire Yeah, I feel like you're manifesting a new job maybe as well or you're just overall manifesting a new healthy relationship. You may be stuck financially, but I feel like your call you're gonna and your call is gonna be answered. We have the four of pentacles, the ace of swords, and the tower card. You could be dealing with the um, Scorpio. Yeah, I feel like you're gonna um, manifest balance, whether especially if you're wanting to manifest a new job, you're gonna balance uh, yourself out financially. You're gonna manifest as well a new passionate beginning, whether it's with your job or it's with somebody. If it's with your job, you're gonna love your job, and you're go it's gonna be something you're very passionate about. And if it's a relationship. You're going to manifest healthy boundaries this person. You're going to be very attracted to them. You're going to have this new sense of beginning with this person, whether this person is new or old. Um, yeah, it's with the tower card, I feel like you're, you're going to learn some truth about something. You're going to set a whole new foundation with something, whether it's a relationship or a job or whatever the case may be. We have the Two of Cups, the Queen of Wands, and the Four of Cups. Yeah, you're gonna build, you're gonna manifest somebody, you're gonna manifest a strong connection with someone. But you're gonna be very comfortable with this person, I feel like. And yeah, you're expecting um, an offer to come in. I feel like this is a job for sure that you're manifesting or you're trying to see if somebody accepted your offer or you maybe you're waiting for someone to email you back or to text you back about your job offer. I feel like you're going to receive it. We have the page of wands, the emperor could be dealing with the Aries, the seven of swords, and we have the anchorman. Yeah, you're gonna bash, you're gonna manifest new passion beginning. You're gonna um, stand more on your ground. Maybe you're gonna be, maybe you're gonna receive an upgrade at your job. You're, you're gonna maybe you're gonna be a boss at your job that you have now or in your new job. Maybe you're just somebody being sneaky, but I feel like with the uh, truth transcends illusion card. 
that you're gonna see that somebody is being is not being fully honest here and you're gonna see that you're gonna see through this person bullshit And yeah, here with the Eggman, you may be stuck feeling unhappy with this person or with the job that you have now. But I feel like this won't stay for too long. I feel like maybe it could be both, but either you're gonna renew your relationship with this person or you're gonna have or just a brand new relationship with somebody. But it's gonna be a strong connection. And it's gonna be... You're gonna have this brand new passionate beginning with them whether it's new or old person and with if it's your job that you're not happy with either you're gonna um get an upgrade or you're just gonna have a new job where you're very happy let's see we have the three of cups the five of cups and the temperance card yeah you're gonna celebrate something soon um yeah for sure maybe you think that you maybe you think you are unhappy where you are now and you want things to balance themselves out but i feel like that's that is going to happen whatever it is about whether it's about a job or your finances or a person but yeah that's it that's what i have for you part one and i will see you next time bye guys Hi, Bob, too. So let's see what are you manifesting. Okay, so we have the spider spirit make your dreams real number 56 out to 11. We have 90 yell spirit luck is all around number 41 down to 5. And we have Coyote, Trust in Divine Detours, number 16 down to 7. I feel like um, maybe you're wanting to manifest something and you're actually putting the work in. I feel like the universe wants you to know that um, they know the efforts that you are putting in. And they want you to believe in the process. So maybe you feel like this is taking a long time or maybe you feel like... Um, your actions were useless or you know that you won't get the the feedback of your action but I your actions but I feel like um, yeah the universe wants you to know that they are seeing what you are doing they are seeing that the, the way that you are putting in and they want you to not focus too much on just this manifestation and enjoy your Focus on your pe the present moment. Enjoy the present moment. And yeah, like it says, love is all around. Just be playful. Don't stress, stress out too much about it. And trust in divine detours. Um, with the trust in divine detours, I feel like maybe you think that this is taking too much time. Or maybe you feel like it's not going to come. Even though you put a lot of work and action into it. But... Um, everything is happening for a reason and I feel like maybe you're not gonna see that but later on you're gonna be um, you're gonna see how things worked out we have the seven of hurt yeah exactly be patient for to bear the fruits uh, that you you saw we have the three of water yeah, you're gonna celebrate something soon if you're wanting to if you're trying to manifest somebody back i feel like this person is gonna come you have the ace of water yeah you're gonna it's gonna be something very emotionally fulfilling yeah with the eight of water this is somebody that you may have left in the past or maybe this is somebody that left you in the past we have the queen of pentacles the knight of wands and the three of cups again yeah this is for sure yeah you put a lot of work and energy into this and yeah the universe is uh has hurt you they see what you're doing you don't be on too too much on the defense um about this not coming when you expect it 
I feel like you have to let go because if you're too focusing on it, um, it will take actually um, a longer time to come. It may not even come. And maybe when this thing is going to come, especially if it's a person, maybe you're going to be on the defense. Maybe you're going to be uh, overprotective when this person comes or whatever this manifestation may be. Maybe you're going to think that this is too good to be true. We have the Three of Cups again. So yeah, it could be a reunion coming in. It's, I feel like you're trying to manifest a person. Or whatever this case may be, I feel like you're going to manifest it. But um, be patient. And just let go. Maybe you're on the defense whether this manifestation is going to come or not. And I feel like this is what is blocking you from this manifestation to come in. Let's see. We have the Judgment card, the Knight of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups, the Nine of Pentacles, and the King of the Pentacles. Yeah, we have a couple here. So yeah, maybe you're trying to manifest a soulmate or you're, man you're trying to manifest um, the love of your life or just some somebody that matches you very well. Um, but yeah, we have the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, this person is coming in slow, but this is something stable. This is something solid. And yeah, you're going to be emotionally fulfilling with this person or whatever is coming in slow. But enjoy your single life. This person is going to come, but enjoy your single life. Focus on your money. Um, or if you're worried about your money, your finances, everything will be fine. Um, I feel like this is something very important to you. Or This could be about a legal case as well, I feel like. Maybe you could be writing a book and you're waiting for the, um, to see how good your book is doing, but let it go. I think it will be fine. Let's see. We have the Two of Swords, the Five of Wands, and the Eight of Wands. Yeah, you could be decide. I feel like when this thing is going to come, you're not going to believe it. Maybe you're man you're fighting mentally over this manifestation, but it is coming fast. Especially like I said, if it's a person, this person is gonna message you soon, or maybe this person is gonna travel near you soon, or maybe this could be you traveling near this person soon. Yeah, we have the Eight of Cups, the Queen of Pentacles, the Star, and the Six of Wands. Yeah, this could have been. Especially if this is this person, this could have been you leaving them and you regretting that or this person left you and you feel incomplete with that without them so you're trying to manifest them back into your life. And yeah, you I feel like as well you're worrying about your finances or maybe you you could be maybe you put a lot of work and in, in, in time and energy into this person. And you feel like this is a waste. You feel incomplete without this person. Yeah, you put a you feel drained without this person, or maybe you feel drained with this person, but you still wanting to them back into your life because you feel incomplete with this person. You're willing you're willing to put a lot of uh, energy into this person. Yeah, I feel like you're manifesting success. You're. Um, you're wanting to manifest success and I feel like it's coming towards you But yeah, that's it. That's what I have for you part two and I will see you next time. Bye guys Hi part three. So let's see. What are you manifesting? So we have the Bobcat Spirit, Life is a Mystery, number 8. We have Owl Spirit, you see clearly now, number 43, down to a 7. And we have Brown Bear Spirit, time out, number 9. Okay, so, yeah, I feel like 
um what what whatever that is is that you're manifesting i feel like the universe doesn't want to know you um doesn't want you to know um how they gonna how it's gonna manifest or what is gonna manifest in your life but i feel like something is coming With the UC clearing now, I feel like now you can you can see you can sense true people bullshit that is that are around you. You know who to trust, who to not trust, or who to be on your card. It's, I heard coworkers, so this could be about your coworkers. Maybe you're trying to figure out someone if this person has true intentions or this if this person really like. Let me give you an example. If a coworker acts like they're very friendly with you, they really want to be friends with you, you're going to see if this person is honest or yeah, if this person really means it. It could be for any um, aspects of your life, but I heard coworkers, so this could be about a coworker. Maybe you're going to learn the truth about how a coworker truly feels about you. This could even be about your boss or something like that. With Bombay's period, you're gonna uh, with take time out. I feel like you're manifesting. Maybe you're gonna if, like I said, um, I give example with the coworkers. So maybe you're gonna receive a break in your job or something like that. You're just gonna uh, have an opportunity when you're gonna be able to rest and have a time out for yourself. It doesn't have to be about uh, work, but yeah, we have the Queen of Earth, the Patience card. We have the Knight of Water, the World card, and the Eggman. So yeah, you could be somebody that's very hardworking, that puts a lot of work and energy into their uh, whatever sphere is, is has to be, could be work, relationships, and um, the universe wants you to be patient because you're gonna see that coming back um coming back to towards you you have the night of water yeah you're gonna manifest happiness you're gonna be overly uh, emotionally stable emotionally fulfilled within yourself you're gonna add a cycle as well I feel like with somebody or maybe just within yourself and yeah, you may be feel, feeling stuck, unhappy, but I feel like this not this is not going to last um, too long. Uh, with the you see clearly now, maybe um, okay. Let me give you an example. Maybe if it you were dealing with the person, maybe you didn't saw uh, some karmic, some toxic traits somebody had, and you're gonna see that, and you're gonna be fully uh, able. To move on from this person, you're gonna learn the truth about something as well. Um, but let's see. You have the Elephant, the Queen of Wands, and the Queen of Cups. Yeah, maybe you're right now. Maybe you're not emotionally stable, but I feel like it's not gonna last um any longer. But just wait for now. Yeah, you're gonna be feeling good within yourself. You're gonna be. Um, seeing your worth in and out, your beauty in and out. Um, you could be somebody very loyal, or maybe you're gonna manifest somebody that's very loyal, and somebody that's very fair that loves to follow the rules. We have the Five of Pentacles in the reverse. We have the Two of Pentacles, and we have the Queen of Swords. So yeah, maybe you're gonna cut, I feel like you're gonna cut something, whether it's a person or just an energy. I feel like you're gonna cut something and you're gonna feel this sense of release. With this five of pentacles in the reverse, I feel like you're gonna, yeah, you're gonna cut somebody that made you feel left out in the cold and wants to cut this person or whatever the case may be. Um, yeah, you're gonna just, um release yourself out of that energy of feeling left out in the pool of feeling poor as well um with the two of pentacles maybe you're manifesting work or 
Yeah, I feel like you're going to get that because the two of pentacles is somebody that multitasks, somebody that um, is very busy. This could be a choice. So maybe you're um, you're wanting a new job or maybe you're going to have the chance to choose um, which job, which new job you want to accept. See, we have the seven of wands, the page of cups, and the three of swords. With the seven of wands, you could be defensive about something. Maybe you're gonna be, you're gonna, maybe you're gonna manifest somebody new, and you're gonna be defensive about it. But I feel like this person has a heartfelt um, offer or. If this is somebody, if this is not somebody new, I feel like this past person you're, if this is a past person you're cutting, I feel like this person is going to try to come back and apologize. But yeah, this person very much so broken your heart. You could have been dealing in a third party situation. It doesn't have to be with cheating. But maybe, um, uh, maybe, uh, if this is somebody from your past, I feel like this person coming back is going to be your chance to get a revenge and to actually broke their heart because you they broke your heart. We have the six of pentacles, the two of wands, and the world card. Again, yeah, there's a sense of beginning. I feel like this person, want this pers if this person is coming back, um, it's going to be your chance to actually um, close for it good this cycle this ending and yeah you're gonna have to make a decision about it but yeah i feel like this sense that you're somebody that's very generous that loves to give and i feel like you could be manifesting money as well maybe you're gonna receive an yeah a job offer or something that has to do with money but yeah that's it that's what i have for you about this and i'll see you next time bye guys how about four? So let's see what are you manifesting. Let's see. We have crow spirit co create with spirit number 17 down to 8. We have fox spirit pink on your feet number 27 down to 9. We have crush crush up spirit take a leap of faith number 30 down to three we have this spirit switch results a week number seven we have eagle spirit spirit as your back number 23 down to five and we have lizard spirit dream the world into being number 38 down to 12 uh, 11 sorry Okay, maybe you're wanting to manifest something and maybe you're not taking actions and the universe wants you to take some action. Maybe, let me give you an example. If you want a new job, right, you cannot just sit around and wait for an offer to come in. Yes, maybe um, it may happen, but the universe wants you to actually put action, go and, um, you know, postulate um, at multiple places. You know, take actions, whatever you're trying to manifest in your life, take action towards it. Don't just sit, wait and sit around for it to come. Make, but um, get up and actually take actions. Or maybe you're doubting, maybe you think that uh, it may not manifest, but your universe wants you to know that, yes, it is possible, but um, don't just doubt yourself, but actually go out and take action actions about it but be careful i feel like you have to be careful with someone or maybe if it's a job offer be careful be wise about the step you take uh and but take a leap of faith and just go for whatever you're trying to manifest take action what whatever this manifestation may be literally switch results away so and yeah, spirit, spirit as your back. So whatever this is that you're trying to manifest, maybe you're not believing enough in yourself that you're able to manifest this, but the universe knows that you can do it and they want you to work in team with them. 
do I able to manifest him? Yeah, this dream the world into being. Yes, like don't just dream, but actually put the work in, and it's gonna manifest. We have the four of water, the five of earth, the six of fire, and the moon card. Yeah, maybe don't tell everyone that you're trying to manifest a certain thing, especially if you're yourself having a hard time believing that you can manifest it because um, it is best to, to, if you're manifesting something, it is best to keep it to yourself. And when you actually manifest that thing, yes, you can share it with, the pe with people around you if you want to. But for now, keep it to yourself. Um, with the thing on your feet, be careful with the action you take. Don't necessarily go around and tell everybody that you're trying to manifest something because maybe they're going to put just more doubts on you about you being able to manifest this thing and maybe it's going to actually block you from manifesting this thing. And with the four of water, I feel like whatever this offer, um, whatever this is that you're manifesting, I feel like you're going to receive an offer about it. Um, if you're manifesting a job, you're going to receive a job offer or whatever you're trying to manifest. I feel like you're going to manifest an offer soon. But yeah, maybe um, you told somebody that you were trying to manifest something and they left you out in the cold. Or maybe, yeah, you they did not believe in you and you felt left out in the cold by this person. But you're... I have the six of fire you manifesting success and whatever this thing may, this case may be maybe it's work relationship doesn't matter you're gonna manifest success by taking this leap of faith let's see yeah we have the ten of pentacles the page of wands and the page of swords yeah, you're going to manifest something solid, something financially and emotionally stable. Um, maybe you're wanting to manifest a person and yeah, you're going to manifest that and you're going to be very happy with this person or maybe it is uh, within being happy, within being emotionally, financially stable and happy within yourself. You're going to manifest that as well. And yeah, you're going to have this new sense of passion, this new beginning. You're going to be... Um, Having a lot of passions uh, and being able to do anything that you want. Um, yeah. With this page of swords, I feel like maybe somebody is spying on you. Or maybe somebody is trying to come towards you. But they're trying to find the right words. words. Or maybe this is you. Um, if you're trying to manifest a job, maybe you're having a, lot, a hard time knowing what you have to say. What you're going to say. But I feel like um, you're going to find the right words, whatever the case may be. Okay, let's see. You have the Eight of Swords, the Six of Swords, the Ace of Pentacles, the Four of Swords, and the Lovers. Yeah, you're going to be overthinking a lot. Don't block yourself out about this um, new thing that you're trying to manifest. Maybe you're going to have to leave somebody from your past. Or maybe this is somebody leaving you in the past. But, um, yeah, you're going to have this new, brand new beginning. I, I, and I feel like with this Ace of Pentacles, you're going to receive a new solid offer. Especially if it's about a job. You're gonna, maybe you're going to get a raise or you're going to just get a new job offer. Or maybe you're going to manifest something regarding your money. Yeah, you're going to manifest. You're not going to stress about it too much. Mani just rest. Don't overthink this too much. And yeah, I feel like you're going to manifest a new strong connection as well. Could be dealing with the Gemini. And yeah, maybe this is just a new... Um, maybe uh, you're going to manifest joy and happiness within yourself. It doesn't have to be necessarily with another person if you're not looking out for that um let's see 
we have the ten of swords the nine of swords and the four of cups yeah you're gonna have a ending but um whatever this ending is and you're gonna be maybe you're worrying that something is ending but don't worry about it um it is happening for a reason and yeah, you're gonna receive an offer i feel like you're gonna receive a new offer maybe if you're leaving someone from your past you're gonna receive a new offer from a new person i don't feel like this is this past person from the back let's see we have the king of swords yeah the eight of pentacles the seven of pentacles and the judgment card yeah you're gonna cut somebody out of your life a situation a person out of your life that no longer serves you um yeah you're gonna be working hard on your money on your um work uh be patient because i feel like you're gonna read the the fruit you saw you're gonna see um the results i feel but be patient be patient and yeah this was a big decision for you to leave this best person or a situation maybe you're leaving your job hoping to have a new job offer a new job and i feel like this is coming don't stress out too much about it but yeah that's it that's what i have for you all for and i will see you next time bye guys hi ball five so let's see what are you manifesting so we have the badger spirit the fearless and bold number four we have antelope spirit life is bidding up number two and we have the beaver spirit lay a solid foundation number six so maybe you're scared to take a leap of faith towards something new. I feel like um, if you're somebody shy or if you're somebody that lacks confidence, I feel like this is going to not be the case for you anymore. You're going to be fearless and bold like it says. I feel like uh, if you're trying to, uh, you're too scared to leap, to take a leap, uh, I feel like you won't be scared to take that leap of faith anymore. Or maybe you're going to, you're scared to have a brand new beginning, um, with someone and uh, i feel like you're gonna just jump straight to it and once you um let go of the fears uh life is gonna be spitting up i feel like things are gonna manifest very fast uh, if this is regarding a person yeah you're gonna lay a solid foundation with somebody you're gonna have healthy boundaries with somebody you're gonna have a new uh solid foundation with someone or maybe if this is somebody that uh all that you already know for a while i feel like you're gonna um maybe you didn't have a solid foundation with this person but i feel like you're gonna have a brand new beginning with this person you're gonna have brand new foundations and they're gonna be solid this time so let's see we have the three of heart the ten of earth and the queen of fire so yeah you're gonna manifest yeah the three of earth is teamwork so whatever you're trying to manifest if especially it's a uh, healthy boundaries yeah this person is gonna be willing to put the work in as well you put, put, gotta put work in if you're kind of the ten of earth is like something manif um financially emotionally stable maybe you're trying to um yeah you're, you're trying to build something solid with someone and yeah this is coming this is coming and you're gonna i feel like maybe you're, yeah you're not maybe somebody that's very confident but you're gonna see your beauty in and out and you're gonna be standing in strong and you're gonna be very confident and maybe you're gonna be as well very attractive to other people as well let's see we have the ten of swords the king of cups the emperor the queen of swords the four of wands and the two of pentacles maybe you're trying to balance your emotions but i see a ending here a peaceful ending here yeah maybe you were very heartbroken about a past person and you're trying to find yourself back you're trying to get emotionally stable back you're trying to learn how to control control your emotions back and i feel like you're manifesting that 
you're gonna stand on your ground um i feel like you're gonna be you're gonna be able to be yourself but you're not uh but i feel like you're not gonna be as cold as you used to be you're not gonna uh cut people left and right uh like you used to do or you're not gonna be just as cold as distant as you used to be you have the four of wands here the four of wands is the marriage card um but maybe you're trying to manifest going to the next step with somebody and that doesn't have to be about marriage we have the two of pentacles here maybe you're having to make a decision about someone if you want to go to the next step with somebody or maybe you're waiting for somebody to decide um for somebody for somebody to know if somebody wants to commit to you we have the strength card the queen of pentacles the five of cups and the ace of wands yeah i feel like with this past this endful a painful ending i feel like you realized how strong you actually were and you're gonna get your strength Back. you're gonna focus on your work and your money and i feel like you're gonna see the results coming back to you as well um yeah i feel like maybe somebody's traveling towards you i feel like you're gonna receive something and may maybe um maybe you don't have food in your house i feel like and you're gonna have Maybe somebody's gonna buy you groceries or something like that. We have the Ace of Wands. So you're gonna get a brand new passionate beginning, whether it's with it with yourself or with someone. But whatever you're trying to manifest, we have the Eight of Cups, the Fool, and the Two of Wands. Yeah, again, you're leaving someone or somebody left you, but I feel like this is you finally being able to move from someone from the past and taking a new leap of faith you may feel stuck don't know where to go next but you're gonna that phase is gonna end soon and you're gonna know uh to take a leap of faith you're gonna take a new leap of faith let's see we have the emperor again we have the nine of pentacles and we have the ten of wands in the reverse yeah you're just gonna stand on your ground maybe you have a father figure or a masculine figure around you that is like that and they're gonna help you go through this but you're i feel like with this nine of pentacles you're enjoying your single life focusing on your money or finances um and with this ten of wands in the reverse i feel like um yeah you're gonna have less burdens you're gonna feel less less drawn drained um you're gonna have this new sense of freedom you're gonna feel um, more free less stressed out as well but yeah that's it that's what i have for you girl five and i'll see you next time bye guys